So, this is my review on, what was it, Transformers, the first movie by Michael Bay. I don't think any movies I'm going to say that for a different time. And, uh, so the movie's about this kid called Sam Wawiki. It opens up with him after explosions and flashbacks of his great-grandfather, turns out. That is just a story that he was telling about the explosion of trans of transformers attacking uh, humans. That obviously it's a Decepticon, and in real that is a Decepticon later on in that movie. So uh, I'm falling off topic here. So anyway, um, um. The Autobots and the Decepticon, uh, this war's been going on, and this cube is the uh, key to ending the war called the Allspark Cube. And that thing can uh, kill a Decepticon or Autobot later on in the film, we find out. Anyway, so Sam Wickley wants a con, turns out that con is a Transformers, but as an Autobot, really slowly later to be, be uh, revealed to be Bumblebee. Bumblebee bombs, and becomes best buds with Sam Wickley, and he's like that he's a part of this big war that's been going on for ages, for years and years. Mm. Uh, and, uh, it's funny by Optimus Prime what's been going on that um it, it was been going on for years and that Megatron lost his mind and wanted to dictate uh, everything so he went Hitler and everything and you know all that fun stuff so anyway uh the Autobots and the Decepticon has been looking for Sam Wickley because he is a, another key to ending the war, but it's not really explained how, unfortunately. Um, so, So anyway, um, they go back to, and Sam had, now has a girlfriend, Megan Fox. Can't remember what her name is. Uh, he has a girlfriend now, and he's going to help the Elvis save the planet and end the war. So, with the help of his high girlfriend, who is, who is pretty, I am pretty fun. She's fine. I don't. You know, I don't see why people find her annoying on the square. I didn't find her annoying, I just found her in the first one okay. I mean, her acting's great, but her characters is okay. Come to see her, she got more of a character in the second one. And they really did expand on that. I've been around since over 10 years since I watched the movie. So let me, um, a weird thing I found is that when the Arbox, uh, the Decepticons are uh, evading this plane, this girl decides to eat this brownie and just blow on it after doing this with it, and eats it, and, uh, I didn't get why, if you blew on it, and if, and, and if you blew on it, why do you need to do this, and then blow on it? I found that weird. Uh, so anyway, uh, Bumblebee gets captured and doesn't give up without doesn't give up without a fight. Gets captured by the army and CIA and stuff, and they're going to experiment on him, find out what makes him tick by cutting him open. Yeah. Um, 
This is playing. It's not really explained. I, I, I'm only telling the stuff I can remember. Um. Uh. So let's see what else. Uh. So Shane Wakuri explains everything to the government, but you know, they don't really buy the uh, the whole all about just being good guys and just saving the earth. But uh, through the course of action and not letting the humans die, they finally realize that. They're really not all bad guys. Some of them are good guys, so. Um. Anyway, the. Get Bumblebee free. Eventually. And. Uh, then, um. I think the Arboss free him, <laughs> or the Sam freeze him. Like, it was one of them. I don't know which. One. I don't really know which one. So anyway, um, there's another thing I like. Um, kind of like she says, if he turns into that cool machine, cool robot, does he turn back into that shitty car that's outdated? And <laughs> she. He just kicks them out and he says, because the men point at your heart and feelings. <laughs> and he just upgrades, uh, gives them his, his uh, vehicle upgrade. Do something more uh, morning. So. And get brush one here. So I had not to my hand so um uh, so anyway um uh that's all I've seen uh the all are not really sure that if they should help the humans and prevent what happened to their plan, just like let the nature take the course. Optimus says we should see help the humans because he sees no difference in the, their race that he saw in his own race. Uh, this is actually really giving us like a really uh, long very speech call, nice speech to the Arbos and the so they help him. And Sam risks his life, puts his life on the line to protect the cube. Uh, and Optimus is very touched by this. And he says if he can't stop Megatron himself, he wants Sam to place the cube in his chest. And he and it will just it will explode and it will kill him, and as well as the uh, uh, the, the main leader, the Decepticon Megatron. So Sam doesn't do that. He he you know I gives a word. He does put the cube in someone's chest, but it's not Optimus. It is Megatron. So Megatron dies and they all live happy ever after and B finally says actual words and that gets completely rebooted in the later installments of the franchise. And uh, that is Transformers, the first movie. I really like, I like this film a, uh, a lot, but I wouldn't say, I would say I love it. In fact, this is my least favorite Transformers film. Counting the anime one and the Bumblebee one. Just kind of all of them. It's my least favorite Transformers film, period. And however, this still gets a thumbs up in my in my eye. And so I definitely approve of saying it's like watch, watching show the story is a little sloppy, but with great acting and really likable and charming characters. Well, it's maybe except for the humans. Well, at least the uh, boss, I'm going kind of all of this. There are lots of. Now, there is a, quite a few amounts of dumb sayings in this. Like, Bombie yarning on the. 
dickhead FBI agent. And there are other dumb things like that, especially like, and also another one I can think of is, um, uh, is, um, Optimus steps on this, uh, uh on, uh, his mom's, uh, uh, what's it, I don't know what it's called, but it's something that birds use. I think it's called bird bass. He steps on a big bird bass. And, uh, there's another dumb thing I can also think of. This is going to be the last one there. I'm sure there's many of them. Uh, but there's like when the mother asks, are we masturbating in the And the father rightfully says, that is a guy talk. <laughs> not, no, not, not, not mom and son talk. That's guy stuff. Which, which makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, and there, I'm sure there's more than one, but I can't really pick all the dumb ones. I don't think I can pick the ones that stand out for me. And I, this sounds vanishing very weird. Might be that King Town's dumb thing, but I don't know. Uh, so I really like this movie. Not love it, but like, like, really like it. Oh, and also everything with the black guy from Chink Roo Jack is a dumb thing. I am so glad he was. Now I remember why this is my least favorite Transformers movie. Is that black guy from King Boo Jack? Like I can't. I don't know what his name is. But he's like very heavy and uh, has a beard. He is just in incredibly unsufferable in this film. He's like the annoying bitch from Bridesmaid that's just all mean and nasty and hates everyone, but pretends to like everyone. Instead, it's like he, instead it's just like a, instead he's just, but instead of that, he's it's just an idiot, being an idiot, pretending to be a tough guy, but a lot of that he's just a pussy. Real that he's just a pussy, pretending to be a tough guy. There are many scenes like that with him. So he, I'm sorry, but he was incredibly insufferable. I mean, the, luckily he, there wasn't a lot of him in that film. If if there was more than uh. Than um there was I would probably <laughs> uh because uh if there was a like a more like a lot 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 more like a film that had him as the main lead instead of Shia LaBeouf I would should give them finger to this film because he's just that insufferable and that is and I know a lot of people found him funny in that I never did okay um. I just want to shoot that and whip his course until his outsides are his insides. Till he's inside out. His entire body. Yes. Okay, so I'm shoot. Mm. He likes to shoot, I mean, in the head because it's never a suffering if he's already dead. Yeah, so. And that's my review on Transformers, the first movie. So that's my review. I bumped into something. And bye.